You are listening to the Your Empty Nest Coach Podcast with Coach Christine, episode number 70. Becoming the CEO of your life, part five of five, putting it all together. I work with mothers of high school students and beyond who are in the trenches with sad and possibly overwhelming thoughts about what their life will look like when their baby heads to college and begins to leave the nest. My client's big question is, what will I do with my time? Is this you? I've been there and I get it. Empowering you to write the next jaw-dropping, amazing chapter in your life is my passion. I am energized by leading you in the process of exploration and am thrilled when you unlock the power that lies within you. This podcast is my gift to you. Here we are, my gorgeous empty nest friend. Are you ready to become the CEO of your life? I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I came up with this concept almost two years ago, but I knew it wasn't specific enough in audience to go anywhere, and I also just had the name and nothing else to go with it. So I decided to pick a specific audience to help first to figure all this out with, and my emptiness friend, you are who I decided to help. There was one point that I considered letting go of the CEO concept completely, but something stopped me. After all of this CEO of your life talk, I'm going to say that I was in training mode. I definitely was simmering and my GPS knew better. What do you think? Anyway, the more I gained clarity on the thought box deliveries, sitting in the simmer, leveling up and such, the stronger the pull was to head back to the CEO of your life concept for you, because now it makes sense. Now the other pieces are there to bring it all together. By the way, I totally love that you are on this journey with me. Thank you for that. Before we get started, please remember that you may leave me audio feedback at any time through my speak pipe link. If you find yourself talking back to me during an episode, why don't you really share your thoughts with me? You'll find the link to do this in the description of this episode. On Apple Podcasts, you'd click details. On Spotify, click see more. On Overcast, press the I for information button. Get the idea? Of course, I always have full show notes with links to anything I discuss in the episode and a full episode transcription on my website. Those reside at youremptinesscoach.com forward slash P for podcast and 70 for this episode's number. I can't wait to hear from you. Thanks. Thank you. It's time to thank our sponsor. This episode is sponsored by my community, the Green Popsicle Sticks. Ready to find the GPS of your life? Then sign up for my Thursday Thoughts About email, where you will gain immediate access to the GPS Life Principles document and will receive a link to join our community. And it's all free. See the link in this episode's show notes or head to my website, youremptinesscoach.com and click the Thursday Thoughts About button to get started. See you there. This episode is the final part of a five-segment series titled Become the CEO of Your Life. If you haven't yet listened to the first four episodes, I encourage you to do that now. Start with episode number 64. I won't repeat all of my fair warnings that I include in that episode. Just know, as I continue, I assume you understand concepts that I've introduced earlier. All good? Great. The CEO of Your Life. I'd like to provide you with definitions for three words. All definitions come from Merriam-Webster, and then I'll share my thoughts about each one. The C in CEO brings us to our first word, conscious. While I love all of the definitions of conscious, to watch our time, I'll go with their second definition, which is perceiving, apprehending, or noting with a degree of controlled thought or observation. For me, this is the dimmer switch beginning to move up and out of obscurity mode. Some examples of things that cause us to be conscious are when you accept the now of your life. Eckhart Tolle shares a lot about this in his book, The Power of Now. When something stunning occurs outside of our fence, it might snap us into training mode and show us quickly that those concerns that we thought were a big deal really are not. For some, a hobby may bring consciousness to their life exercise, or maybe a creative outlet. Meditation could work for you. And I'm also willing to bet that you have something that when you do it, brings peace in your life. What is it for you? For me, being in nature, particularly the woods, is a big training mood boost and pulls me into consciousness. 
If you are aware that your thoughts are optional, you are conscious. The E in CEO is our next word, effective. Merriam-Webster defines it as producing a decided, decisive, or desired effect. So being conscious is just the start. The more conscious you are, the higher in training mode and the more effective you become in knowing who you are, in honoring yourself, and in respecting yourself. And we cap the CEO initials with Olympian. Now this one gets real interesting. I had to scroll down a bit to find a definition that didn't have Greek gods or Olympic games in it and found this. A being of lofty detachment or superior attainments. Whoa. (laughs) I expected the superior attainments or something like that, but this lofty detachment, that was a bit of a surprise. But doesn't it fit in beautifully? Because as we detach ourselves from our protector and the higher we get in training mode or loftier, the more we are able to reach heights we never dreamed of, the closer we get to illumination. Wow. So I leave you with where this all started for me. To be the CEO of your life, you need to become the conscious, effective Olympian of your life. When you are the CEO of your life, you understand that you are not your thoughts. When you are the CEO of your life, you understand that your thoughts are optional. When you are the CEO of your life, you don't have time for drama around a happening outside of your fence. When you are the CEO of your life, your protector works for you as the best personal assistant ever. When you are the CEO of your life, you can't help but be who you are meant to be in this moment. After all, she's amazing. When you are the CEO of your life, your energy radiates in all that you do and transmits into the universe, bringing opportunities to you that just might be inexplicable. And most importantly, when you are the CEO of your life, you will know who you are. You won't need me or anyone else to tell you you found her. You'll know. The training is a journey that is full of ups and downs that will include steps forward and backward. It's a beautiful journey. You are listening to this today because you are ready, ready to become the conscious, effective Olympian of your life. And if you need help on that journey, I'm here for you. I can't wait to see what you do. The questions I have for you in this episode are, are you the conscious, effective Olympian of your life yet? And what questions do you have for me? I invite you to share your answers to these questions for inclusion on an upcoming episode by using my SpeakPipe link, which you'll find in the episode description mentioned earlier. Or fly on over to our Facebook group to share your answers to these questions with our amazing flock. Our Facebook group name is Green Popsicle Sticks. Want to know why? Listen to episode number 17. Or head to my website, youremptinesscoach.com forward slash community for links to join our flock. We look forward to seeing you there. Thanks. Thank you. A huge shout out to my GPS execs, the executive producers of my podcast. Visit my website or see my show notes for a link to learn how you may become a GPS exec, where you will gain bonus access to me and more. As always, I provide content to make you think, my emptiness friend. My hope is that I am able to provide you with thoughts that positively impact your life. Are you on Instagram? If you are, make sure you're following me at Empty Nest Coach. I am there Monday through Friday to remind you that you are amazing. If you enjoyed this episode, I invite you to take a moment to subscribe to this podcast. It is free. Oh, and of course, one last thing. You, my friend, are amazing. I heard that PT. I'm going to do that one more time.